Hey guys, so this clip is going to be different from everything else you're about to see in this video. Just because when I was sitting down to edit this video, I realized I didn't film an intro clip, so here it is. So since Valentine's Day is around the corner, I figured I'd do a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look, at least as far as the eyes. I did a very, very easy, very pretty, romantic, pinky, purpley, smoky eye for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, of course, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy! Alright guys, so I already moisturized my face. I used the Aloe Pure Skin Care Time Repair Serum by Alouette. I got this in a BoxyCharm box a couple of months ago. Oh, hey, Chloe. I got this in a BoxyCharm box a couple of months ago, and honestly, this does a very good job of doing what it claims it's gonna do. My skin does look better as far as wrinkles go. My face naturally rests very angrily. I don't know why. You can ask my parents. They gave me my face for my birthday. I'm not sure why my face rests so angrily, but it does, and with that comes the uh, scowl lines, the angry lines. But ever since I've been using this, I have noticed not a great difference, but a small difference in the appearance of those wrinkles. So that is something that I'm actually very happy about. Just giving you guys a warning, if you guys hear any like rustling or running around in the background, the girls, my daughters, my fur daughters, Chloe and Penelope are running around. So they might have some noise in the background, just ignore them. And for those of you who are new to my channel, these are my fur daughters. This is Chloe and this is Penelope the ferret. Hi, Goyles. I love you. I love you. But now it's time for you guys to go play and keep yourselves busy. If I'm being honest, I really have no idea what I'm going for as far as a look. I know I want to use my Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I really haven't used it as much as I thought I would, so I'm going to try to go ahead and use that today for today's look. Alright, so for my foundation cocktail, I'm using my Holy Grail favorite combination. These are the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations in the Dewy and Smooth Formula and the Matte and Poreless Formula. I'm using shades 120 and 122. So, I am forever searching for a good tea. TV show to watch. I do have Netflix, I've got Hulu, and I also have Amazon Video, so I have all three options. So if there are any good shows that I should watch, please leave your recommendations down below because as of right now, I'm waiting for Stranger Things to come back. I just got into Dawson's Creek and honestly, I don't understand what the big hoopla was about that show because I'm only in season two, like episode maybe like five or six, and I cannot stand Dawson for the life of me. He's so whiny and annoying and the girls, well, outside of Joe, the girls he chooses to date are just annoying. Like, I don't like Jennifer whatsoever. Like, I love Pacey, but I've always loved Pacey. I've had a crush on ja uh, Joshua Jackson is his name. I've had a crush on him since I was younger when I first saw him in Muddy Ducks. He was the kid who played Charlie. So yeah, I've been trying to venture out and watch different things. I wouldn't normally ever go for like shows like that. I've never watched Beverly Hills 90210, never watched Party of Five. These are all like really old like 90s TV shows in case you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. I'm not very picky on the like genre as long as it's a really good show. I don't normally go for like the political TV shows. Honestly, they're not really interesting to me. But I do know there are some shows that in that kind of genre that are actually pretty good. I've heard House of Cards is really good and a lot of people tell me to watch that, but I watched the first episode and I could not get into it. I have no idea why. Yesterday was probably one of my favorite days this week because Nick and I both were completely off for the day, like we had nothing to do. So we sat down and watched like endless amounts of movies. We watched Suicide Squad, we watched Neighbors 2, we got into Sausage Party, which by the way, if you are a parent and your kid asks you to watch Sausage Party, I would highly recommend you didn't let them do it unless they're obviously old enough to listen to very, very vulgar things. It was a freaking hilarious movie. Sausage Party, I love Seth Rogen, period. Like, that man and his laugh, like, make me so happy. But he did an amazing job in that movie because it was fucking hilarious. So yeah, if you guys have like any, like, movie recommendations or TV show recommendations. I haven't watched Empire yet. I know a lot of people are kind of having mixed feelings about this season, which makes me kind of nervous. I watched the first two episodes when it first released, and again, it just moved way too slow for me. I'm somebody who really likes when shows kind of take off. I'm all for character development, but when the character takes like five or six episodes to develop, it's kind of just, it's mind numbing to me. A lot of people said that the How to Get Away with Murder show is pretty good, but I don't know. I don't know what to watch. I have so many options, which is the problem. I love having all three platforms to be able to watch like whatever I want on them. But at the same time, it's a blessing and a curse because I'm such an indecisive person naturally. And it takes forever for me to choose like exactly what I want to watch. The one show I could watch over and over and over again is American Horror 
Horror Story and Glee. Like, those are my two all-time favorite shows. Like, every season, every episode is a holy grail of mine as far as TV goes, but I just love those two shows. So to me, it's hard to find a show, or a series at least, that grips me and keeps me hanging on like Glee and American Horror Story did. So... I don't know. However, I will say I was actually very disappointed in this last season of American Horror Story because to me it was just kind of boring and it was a like good, like it was good for the first few episodes, but it was just so boring. Like I didn't enjoy it as much as I loved like Coven or Asylum or even the first season when it was Murder House. Like it really wasn't as good. I was, I would honestly put it on par with Freak Show because Freak Show was okay, but it was just kind of ugh. So what is your favorite American Horror Story season? Mine of all time has to be Coven. I don't know why. That one just, it was so good. Now Glee, on the other hand, I there was not one episode or one season that I honestly hated. The only thing I did not like was when they did the quarterback episode. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll know exactly why I didn't want to watch it. It was probably the most depressing episode episode ever that I've watched on Glee because to me it was so sad seeing everyone's like real reactions to Corey's passing and it just it broke my heart watching it like I was bawling my eyes out the entire time I started bawling with the beginning credits like it was that intense for me so I don't know that was the only episode that I really did not like not because it was bad but because it was so sad but it was definitely necessary I think all right, so all I did off camera was I set my eyeshadow base using my Wet n Wild Color Icon single eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee. You guys know how much I love that single eyeshadow. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and we're gonna pick up the shade Fringe right here, this really light, like, peachy shade. And we're gonna just tuck that into the crease area, and that's going to be our transition shade. Now we're gonna go into the shade Silk, which is right next door to Fringe, this beautiful like dusty mauve shade. And we're gonna tuck that into the crease area, but we're gonna keep it lower than the Fringe shade. So I mentioned on uh, Snapchat that this year is going to be a huge traveling year for me. I have to go to Chicago twice for my best friend's wedding. And that's gonna be in, actually next month I go for a couple days during the weekend to get my dress ready and to go dress shopping with her. And then I go back in July for the actual wedding on the 15th. And then I have to go to Toronto, Canada for Gem Beauty Toronto. And then I'm going back down to Florida to go visit my friends and family down there for a couple of days. And then I'm thinking towards the end of this year, I want to surprise my husband with a trip to Disney World. Now, this might seem a little weird, but my husband has always wanted to go experience Disney World because he's never ever been and to me that's just heartbreaking because obviously as a Floridian that's like one of the best things about Florida is obviously going to Disney World on the weekends. I was lucky enough and blessed enough that my family, my tios, my tias, everybody would always spoil the cousins in these family, the kids in the family, with these amazing trips to Orlando like every other weekend. And like I said, it was heartbreaking because as a South Floridian, a born and raised South Floridian, like the thing to do on weekends, especially during the summer and summer vacation when we were in school, the thing to do was to drive like the three, four hours to Orlando on the weekends and spend the weekend there and then go back home like that was the thing to do so I could never imagine not going to Universal Studios or Disney World or Tampa Bay even to Busch Gardens like so it's heartbreaking to think that there is somebody who is in my life close to me in my life my husband who has never experienced the magical world of Walt Disney World like what? All right, so for the darkest shade in this look, I'm gonna go to the shade Velvet right here, this beautiful maroon shade, and we're gonna tuck that into the outside corner. I don't wanna make it too dark because I'm not going for a smoky eye by any means, but I do wanna have some depth to this look, so we're gonna go ahead and tuck that in the outside corner. Another thing that I really wanna try to make happen is a trip to Hawaii. But there's three, actually four places that I wanna visit before I die. It is Australia, Bora Bora, Fiji, and Hawaii all beach destinations. So for the entire lid, I'm gonna take the shade Glitz right here, and we're gonna just pop that on the lid and also in the outside corner. And now I'm gonna take that shade Silk, that lightish purple, and we're gonna go ahead and just blend right between the Velvet shade and the Glitz shade, just so that everything blends seamlessly. And I'm also gonna take with whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the crease area just to ensure that there's no harsh lines anywhere. 
Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start the lower lash line. I think I am going to do a small smoky eye, a very subtle smoky eye. So I'm going to take the shade Velvet, which was that beautiful maroon shade that we used for the outside corner. And we're going to go ahead and just tuck that right up against that lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back in with the shade Silk with the same brush. And we're going to pop that pretty much right underneath that Velvet shade to kind of blend that out. So now I'm going to take the Hikari eyeliner in the shade Raven, which is just a black eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and just tuck that underneath my top lash line, and we're going to go ahead and just tight line our lash line. So I'm just throwing on another coat of this Tarte Tardis mascara, and then we're going to do highlighter, and then the lips, and then we're done. So for highlighter, I wanted to try out this Palladio I'm Glowing Creamy Stick Luminizer in the shade Dunner. I got this from Palladio in a package from them, and I swatched it. I'll go ahead and swatch it again for you guys. And this looks freaking beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and try this on the cheek. I'm going to go ahead and just gently dot this on my cheekbone. A little bit on the nose, a little bit on the cupid's bow. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. It's a very natural glow from within kind of highlight, so uh, I don't know. We'll see. I like it a lot. I think I like it a lot at least. Alright, I kind of did my brows. I'm just going to stop trying to get my cowlick to actually do what I want it to do because it never does what I want it to do. So it's just going to sit there and be bare. So I apologize, look weird, but I can't help the way my brows want to act. So I like that highlighter, but I want it to be a little bit more on the oomph side. So to give it some more oomph, I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow in the shade Valley Girl on just a flat brush here. The one thing I will say is that Honestly, I love this as a highlighter. I wish they would make it as an actual highlighter. This is one of their eyeshadows, and to me, it just, it looks more like a highlighter than it does an eyeshadow, because look how beautiful that looks. For the lips, I'm going to use a product that, honestly, you guys probably have not seen in well over a year. I'm going to use the uh, LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint in the shade Blushing. For my lips for today, I figured that would be a really pretty flattering color for my eye look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the lips. Alright guys, so that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash chit chat video. If you did, of course, leave it a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. If you have any requests of things you would like to see in my collection, maybe collection video, leave those requests down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.